What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys today's video, and this is a series that I've been doing for a while, not recently, bringing it back today, base identification, breaking down some bases for you guys, Town Hall 12, 11, and 10, uh, talking about, you know, the weaknesses of the base, you know, you look at this base, what uh, is a good strategy to use, then we're taking a look on the at, uh, at the attack, uh, that was used that got the three stars. So it might be a good idea if you're, you know, still kind of learning some of this stuff to pause the video. You can see the army comp at the bottom of the screen. Think about how you would go about attacking this base because uh, base identification is most of the battle. Deciding what uh, troops to use um, and then how to use them. You know, where to uh, deploy stuff and what the weaknesses of the base are. So having said that, let's get into this video. Uh, this is the Town Hall 12, and um, you can see uh, Drag Bat was used on it, a good strategy to look to use. Um, right away, I think that you know, you're, you're looking for you know, the Wizard Towers, the Multi-Infernos, can you freeze them? Right here, you can get these two frozen together. That should be a good sign of, hey, I can deploy bats right on top of there. Uh, this Wizard Tower, you can see, is uh, tankable if you drop an Ice Golem right around where this Elixir Storage is, a little bit towards the uh, towards the mortar. You can tank that with an Ice Golem. Um, so that's another nearby building that can easily be neutralized, another uh, air targeting splash on the base. And then typically you want to come Town Hall side, there's a bonus here, you get the Wizard Tower and the uh, Multi if you come from that side. And I guess that leaves this space up here, but really, by the time these become a factor, the base is already down. So, um, also a second freeze was brought, just, you know, to be safe. Um, a lot of people would not want to use the heroes here, because you can see if there's a Lava Hound CC, it could deploy. But I think in this case, it worked out well. This might have been a cleanup attack, I'm not sure. There was a Tesla farm here, so there was good value gotten, and the CC didn't deploy quick enough for it to actually uh, affect the heroes and stop them from getting a nice funnel on this side. And then on the other side, the funnel is a little more simple. I think just a baby dragon or something. Um, and then the dragon's cut across. So uh, let's take a look at the replay. And um, actually the baby dragon was used uh, a little more initially. So the dragons are coming in a bit higher up. But you'll see, like I was saying, we'll go even go times two here as the heroes move through, um, getting this entire Tesla farm taken out and uh, the CC is just not close enough to really do much to defend uh, the Sui hero right here. So just uses a dragon on the other side. The dragons can be self-funneling if you're willing to invest uh, one of the dragons in that sense. Let's go back to times one speed. You can see the hound comes out, but when you pop the queen's ability, oftentimes it'll run away because the queen goes invisible. So that's just how the AI works. Uses a goblin archer to you know draw it up towards the top, and then here come the dragons cutting through. Um, Right here, activating the Town Hall, going to pop the Warden's ability over it, everything good here. And you can see um, the funnel is not great on the other side, where the dragons are you know, kind of starting to wander off a little bit. But the majority go into the base here, which is good. And then here's that nice uh, freeze. Actually, a lot of, lost several bats to the Multi-Inferno, but uh, not too many. Didn't even need to use the second freeze there. Nice tanking on the uh, Wizard Tower from that Ice Golem. Uh, Lava Hound's not a factor, and you can see the Multi-Inferno is actually tanked by dragons and balloons, so that last freeze, uh, not really even needed probably, everything was closing in, um, but it keeps a lot more bats alive for sure. So I think, you know, great base notification, the only thing is, this easily could have not worked out as well if the dragons wandered up here, so maybe next time invest a little more of a funnel on this side, whether it's bringing even a P.E.K.K.A., or a baby dragon or something to kind of cut down more of those buildings up on the top. But overall, all this went really well. I guess I backed out a little bit early, but you know, move on to the next base. You guys get the point. Um, let's take a look at our Town Hall 11 example for today. Uh, like I said, if you want, pause the video, think about how you would do this. But um, right away, looking at this base, we have this compartment with the dead space behind it, very common setup. Great place to do a queen walk to start it there because the funneling is typically a little bit easier. Uh, your queen's not going to get caught up trying to bang through any walls. And also there's nothing that's going to be behind this initial row in that second layer, like an air defense, a bunch of expos, that's going to you know make the queen walk tricky. That's going to pick off healers or do stuff like that. Um, it's all very self-contained. Uh, and the queen uh, can you know do a walk there. This area uh, definitely 
good queen charge, especially if you come at these expos one at a time, because really you're only going to have two of them on the queen at a time since the third one won't be reaching uh, for a while. So that's a good angle. And then you can see, okay, it starts to come together. We want to get the queen in here, take out the defensive queen. Uh, you know, in this case, we're using uh, queen walk lalo. And yes, there's other strategies. Maybe you can use drag bat. Um, this is one of the ones that would work. So don't feel like this is the only solution to the base, uh, but it's definitely a good one. So, uh, don't use the king for a cheap funnel like the one over here. Uh, it's just not worth it. It's a lot easier. A wizard or two will do. Drop down the queen, you know, walk this way. Okay, she comes in here, and I'll go ahead and start playing it just for sake of time. But um, then the next question is, okay, how are we going to do this Lalo? Because um, the queen can sure get great value um, with her walk, but what's the best strategy for Lalo? And I think... Um, there's a lot of uses for the Stone Slammer when it comes to supporting a Queen Wakalalo. I've made a whole video uh, about this, or several videos that kind of overlap on this topic. Um, oftentimes there's like a little channel that is carved out that the you can drop the Slammer on initially and take out a bunch of buildings almost for free if it's just Archer Towers, Wizard Towers. There's no real air defenses or big damage dealers. Um, sometimes the Slammer is also good though at just cutting out the the core of the base um, and taking on what otherwise would be difficult for balloons to do alone just because of uh, the, how central a certain part of the base might be. Um, here's the wall break uh, opening things up initially, getting access to a bunch of the expos, queen, uh, queen, stuff like that. Sends in a few loons here I think to try to get to that expo maybe, I'm not exactly sure. Um, what the idea was, but at least, you know, takes out Wizard Tower, maybe soaked up a trap or two, didn't see that. Uh, this is where you want to use the King Funnel. It's, it's much more long-term. This funnel is more important. Um, the other side was just simply breaking it so the Queen goes with the way she needs to go. Um, so don't be a sucker for using, you know, the King where he can be used better somewhere else. Only use as much as you need to on a funnel. Um, anyway, going straight at the Eagle, I think, was a good idea because the Queen's not going for it. Um, the walk doesn't really permit it. Um, and then it would have been a little bit awkward to try to send balloons in there. So you getting some value from the slammer, how tanky it is, getting that eagle taken out quickly. And this allows the queen to step up and actually start doing some work on the uh, inferno towers. Um, meanwhile, the lalo cuts across here. I mean, really nice pathing. Everything's really skinny on this part of the base. So the balloons just kind of sweep through with these hastes. Still has the warden's ability. Uh, in the bag there and I think the warden is you know kind of wanting to stay with the queen a little bit and the healers but gets most of those balloons in his uh, ability there and then we'll fast forward to the end here so yeah sometimes you gotta think okay um you know can the queen walk can do a lot but can I really just carve out the entire middle of this base using my slammer um because if it's only like a nice ring of exterior uh, defensive buildings it's going to be a very uh nice friendly lalo for you so Moving on to our Town Hall 10 before we wrap this thing up. Um, taking a look at this base here. Going with the hogs. I mean, you got to see it right away. Um, this part of the base looks very nice for hogs. Springs are going to only be minimally effective between these two buildings just because the hogs are probably not going to uh, hit them, you know, going straight across necessarily. Then you have these expos that are all, you know, don't have any springs between them. A nice heal spell can cover most of that. Looks good for hogs. I mean, can't argue with that. Question is, you know, how do we do deal with these two heroes? Because that's definitely what you want to get. Um, but it's kind of an awkward entry with the, you know, splitting the infernos. What are we gonna do? Well, um, sometimes, you know, sending in the in the slammer as kind of a hero assassin, especially at Town Hall 10, where there's not nearly as much damage on the base. Uh, it's a good idea. So I like um, sending in these balloons, cutting the funnel here. I think. Uh, I think these balloons, yeah, they get two drops off on the top there. Uh, so gets that taken out, sends in the heroes. Um, the funnel wasn't totally developed here. I think the king didn't get as much as he could have, just the way things kind of split here. Um, but it, it works out okay. So hits the king's ability in just a moment. We'll fast forward. Uh, he kind of veers off to the top there. doesn't get a ton of value. Uh, so the queen comes down, but really this is all just about clearing out defensive buildings um, to send in the slammer. And once again, this is kind of an alternative use of the slammer, I guess you could say. Um, but I like it, and uh, especially with the, the hound loon CC, it just got, has to poison down that balloon. Nothing he really has is going to uh, be trying to 
break the hound up. So in comes the slammer, it'll have enough to take out that inferno tower, and then it's just going to drop down right on the queen here, and also help take out the king, because really when you think about it, there's not a whole lot of damage inside the base to like a P.E.K.K.A. and a Valk here. I mean, the Expos are mostly at the top, I guess they get a little bit of damage there initially, um, but really it's just the inferno and like a wizard tower, so... Um, really carves out the middle of this base for a pretty cheap price when you think about it. Um, especially spell-wise, just using the Rage, that's it. Um, then comes in with these Hogs. Uh, gets a little bit of nice overlap in terms of the P.E.K.K.A. tanking. Could have even sent the Hogs in earlier to get some more value. Um, but the heal spell was there anyway. Just, you know, has too many heals, to be honest, for what's left on this base. Um, and that's really something to think about. You know, how can you eliminate you know big chunks of a base for a cheap value when you're using hogs because um, if you're really rich in heals especially at town hall 10 uh, the base doesn't stand much of a chance uh, just because springs alone aren't going to do it there has to be some kind of uh, big damage area somewhere where the hogs are going to go down and if they're just kind of smothered in heals it's not going to happen anyway though things wrap up here hits a giant bomb but those hogs were at full health and uh, that is it. I mean, hardly lost any hogs in this attack. Very good stuff. Uh, I would like to see a miner for cleanup, but this is just really splitting hairs. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That will do it for today. Um, let me know if you like this series. I'll keep doing it uh, here and there. But uh, excuse me. Uh, as always, I will see you guys next time. Bisect the Tron out.